Welcome to i3 International Tech Channel. In part four, we're looking at video backups. There are three types of backups. The i3 encrypted backup, the AVI video format backup, and the MPEG-4 format backup. Let's look at the advantages and disadvantages of each. The i3 encrypted backup has many advantages and we highly recommend it. It records 16 cameras in one file. It is encrypted for safety and it saves space as well. The disadvantage is that you need the i3 player to view the files that are encrypted. If you plan on sharing these files, you need to download the i3 player on all stations that will be viewing these files. The advantages of the AVI and MPEG-4 is that it can be viewed on any player. They are shared easily. The disadvantages, however, is that they take up space. 16 cameras will take up 16 files. There are no encryption and no security. The next step is channel selection. This is a simple process of clicking on the channel and clicking on the checkbox. Thirdly, setting the date and time of start and end of each recording and reviewing each channel for accuracy of recording as well. And finally, the destination folder or devices. The videos can actually be backed up in the i3 backup folder in the C drive. It can be backed up on a CD or DVD, a USB driver, or even in the Office 365 folder, which can then be synced later and shared with all. Let's take a quick look at a backup session in progress. In this example, the operator clicks on the magnifying glass, moves the start button or the green button to the left, and then he will choose the intervals needed to make his selection more precise. There's several ways of doing this. As you can see, the gray area shows the time that will be backed up. So he decides to choose an i3 encrypted file. As you can see, there are several choices. You have the AVI and the MPEG files as well. Now the channels are selected by clicking on the box and checking the checkbox. As you can see, the operator makes more changes to his search. He chooses the magnifying glass, decides to move the in points on the timeline and the out points, picks better intervals for his search. The gray box shows the time that will be recorded. He fine tunes it once more picks the channels and cameras and ratings and adds it to the list. Now on going to backup, the list is now added. Within this list, you can also make changes and fine tune your backup session. What does the operator decide to do? He decides to make an edit. He will choose different channels. Selecting the right channels is very important when making a backup. Now that he has the right channels, he will look into finalizing his in and out points or date and time. At the bottom of the screen, you see the videos that he chose, the selective channels and how he decides to make a correct time decision. You can review each file if you want to make sure that this is the correct video as well. The next decision to make is the decision on the destination folder. As you can see, this is the video that he wants. These are all very cool tools to have and to work with when creating backups. In the destination section, 
you can choose, like we mentioned, several options. There's the i3 DVR backup. You can choose to record on the DVD or CD, a USB disk, and even on the Office 365 folder. And then sync it up to your Office 365. When ready, the operator will choose to name the backup session that he wants to record. In this case, we can click on the file name and give it a name like testing. The backup session can begin by clicking on the button called start backup. This concludes part four of this video called backup videos.